Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the classical normal uh, linear regression model. So we're going to be talking about the classical uh, normal uh, linear regression model. So which is something like this, right? So, uh, you know, we've talked about our ordinary least square method wherein we, we kind of found out the value of yi and we had some uh, you know population parameters which is beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat and uh, this was our error term now since we know that that the value of beta 2 hat it's kind of a linear function of uh, the random variables uh, you know it's, it's kind of a linear function of the random variable this you know which is the value of ui hat so uh, you know which is a random variable of the error term which is ui so again this is something which is random right so that means the probability distribution of beta 2 hat so the probability distribution of uh, beta 2 hat it's something that uh, would actually be related uh, to the probability distribution of uh, ui right so and since the probability distribution of the population parameters, it's it's very very important, uh, you know, in in hypothesis testing. So it's very very important in hypothesis testing that we find out the probability distribution of this population parameter here. So it becomes completely, it becomes extremely important that we find the probability distribution of the error term as well. And since uh, the ordinary least square method, so the OLS method does not account for any probability distribution of the population parameters or of the pop you know or of the error term so it becomes extremely important for us to actually assume some kind of probability distribution for the error term here which is why i'm going to explain the reasons later uh, which is why what do we do is we assume uh, the the probability distribution for UI we actually assume it to be distributed normally. So what do we do is we actually assume the probability distribution of the error term to be a normal distribution, and uh, this is something which is known as the classical uh, normal linear regression model. Right. So this is something which is known as the classical normal linear regression model. We actually assume the probability distribution uh, to be a normal distribution. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk about some math in it. You know, what are the various uh, mean and the variances of this probability distribution? So here is it, the normality assumption of the error term here. Now, in this case, uh, what is the mean of the error term? Now, since we know that uh, the the since we know that UI is something which is distributed normally, right? So UI is something which is distributed normally, and this is how the distribution is, uh, you know, kind of a normal distribution where this is the mean value. I suppose you know what's normal distribution. So this is the mean value. Now uh, the mean, or we also say the mean as to be the expected value of the error term, is something which is supposed to be zero. Why is that? Because this is something that we suppose. Uh, that as the sample size increases the error terms tend to go away that means the mean value of the error terms is actually equal to zero in the long run we expect uh, no error from our data and uh, what about the variance here you know the variance so the variance will actually be the expected value of ui minus the value of mean which is the expected value of ui so you know kind of the square of it because that is what we do in variance Right, so I'm just gonna do it like this, right? Which will actually be equal to the expected value of ui square. Because we know the expected value of ui is something which is zero, so you know that is actually going to be a constant, right? So now the variance of uh, the, the variance of the uh, error term is actually something which is supposed to be constant, and something about the covariance of two different errors. Uh, that will actually be equal to the uh, expected value of ui and uj so which will actually be zero so you know what does this mean this means that uh, these errors are completely independent of each other that means that uh, you know there is no correlation between two different variables 
and uh, if we want to explain these assumptions so these are the assumptions if we were to express these assumptions for error terms we can expect it like this it's distributed normally and uh, the mean is zero and the variance is a constant right so this is what uh, you know the normal distribution is all about that means it's normally distributed it has uh, you know zero covariance and zero correlation uh, you know zero co zero correlation that means independence of all the variables here now since we know that uh, you know there's zero covariance here so we can also express this as uh, you know ui which is uh, nid which uh, stands for normally and independently distributed so this stands for normally and independently distributed why independently distributed because just a second because of uh, this assumption here that the covariance between two variables is actually zero so that means the error terms are not they do not vary with each other and again we already know that the mean is zero and the stand and the variance is actually a constant now why this assumption you know why did we go with uh, this particular assumption here well there are certain reasons of it so let's explore every reason here now since we have talked in our previous videos in our ordinary least squares that uh, our value of beta 1 hat and the value of beta 2 hat is something which is normally distributed and uh, so you know this is something which is normally distributed so uh, any linear function of uh, normally distributed variables is itself a normally distributed variable so ui is something which is actually a function of these two variables so if these are normally distributed we can assume that this is something which is also uh, normally distributed and this is something which makes uh, you know the task of hypothesis uh, you know hypothesis testing very straightforward right so another reason it becomes pretty easy for us uh, you know to uh, use these uh, you know the t test the f test and the chi square test uh, it becomes very easy for us to use these statistical tests uh, in our regression model if we follow the assumption of normal distribution right so that is something which is there and uh, again uh, you know this is something that can you know that can be done for small sample sizes so small sample sizes and uh, another thing is for large sample sizes uh, you know for large sample sizes if we calculate if we, you know if we find the t test t statistic and the f statistic they itself have an assumption that the error terms are normally distributed so they actually have this assumption that uh, you know the error terms are normally distributed which means it uh, it makes us easy and it makes it valid for us to use these tests for large samples right so again uh, you know we are actually uh, here imposing the normality assumption we are not proving it right so you know in, in in practical applications we might have to look at the sample size data and check out whether the normality assumption is appropriate or not right now let, let's actually also talk about what are the properties of so what are the properties of our OLS estimators what are the properties of our OLS estimators under the normality distribution and under the normality so under the normality assumption right so let's uh, you know that is actually very very important because we need our uh, you know OLS estimators to still be unbiased and best so what are the properties so the first thing that is very very important that uh, they are still unbiased so that means they are still unbiased and uh, they still have the minimum variance so what do you mean by minimum variance and we've talked about this in the previous videos as well that uh, you know uh, you know let's suppose this is the value of our beta population and uh, this is our uh, the distribution of our beta hat right and uh, there is no other so you know the this is the variation that is actually it's giving so there is no other uh, you know estimator which has a lower sampling variance as this has so all other estimators are going to have a larger sampling variance and no other estimator is going to have a lower sampling variance so it still has the minimum sampling variance and again uh, you know it's consistent right it's it's totally consistent that means the the mean of our sampling variation the mean of our beta hat is actually equivalent it's actually targeting the beta population right and uh, and we know that 
since these are you know uh, you know this are consistent so we can say that that the for beta 1 so for beta 1 hat the expected value for beta 1 hat is actually going to be the actual value of beta 1 and for beta 2 hat the expected value for beta 2 hat is actually going to be equal to beta 2 here and uh, you know that is there and again if we if we kind of define a variable z so let's suppose uh, you know, we, we define a variable z wherein the value of z is actually equal to beta 1 hat minus beta 1 all the way divided by the value of uh, standard deviation of uh, beta 1. And for beta 2 as well, we define a variable where this is beta 2 hat minus beta 2 over the standard deviation of beta 2. Now, if these, these, this z over here is going to follow a normal distribution with mean 0 and uh, with one unit variance. So, this over here is going to follow a normal distribution. So, it's going to follow a normal distribution. Uh, you know, I'm just going to write it like this. z over here is going to follow a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. And even this z over here is going to follow a normal distribution with mean 0 and the variance 1 right so uh, you know that means you know pretty much our uh, you know our estimators are uh, are are actually the best unbiased estimators so over here our estimators are actually the best unbiased estimators right so that is something that again everything depends upon the assumption that we're making that uh, you know the, our error term is normally distributed right so so that's there Again, one more important thing that beta 1 and beta 2 will remain uh, with the minimum variance. So the, va the, the variance will still remain minimum even if our estimators are linear or not, which is why I have not written blue here. I've actually written BUE here. So even if they're linear or not, they're still going to remain uh, the, the, the best, uh, best unbiased estimators with the minimum variance, right? So... So at the end, what we can do is we can actually say that that the error term is something which is normally distributed with zero mean and a constant variance. And uh, this being a linear, and we know that yi is actually equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus the error term. So yi is a linear function of ui, which means yi is also something which is uh, normally distributed. And the mean value of yi it's actually going to be something this, you know, the value of mean value of yi, the expected value of yi is something which makes the error term equal to zero, which is something which is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. So the mean value is going to be beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. And again, uh, the variance of this is going to remain constant, which is actually there, right? So, you know, this is about this video, guys. I suppose you've understood this. And in the future videos, we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be using this uh, information to actually find find out a lot of things. Uh, you know, we'll be establish establishing con confidence intervals and you know uh, testing hypothesis. So I suppose you've understood this, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, make sure that you explore uh, perfect-scores.com, right? So that's there. So uh, and this would be our Facebook page to give us your valuable like, and this would be our uh, email address to give us your valuable feedback. So this would be about this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next.